Hey guys, happy Thursday. Hope you're all doing well out there. Really pumped that you've clicked on this video and you're going to come for a ride with me because it's a big day today. I've got a lot of op shops to get into. Look, it's the 1st of October, so it's a brand new month. I'm wiping the books clean and I'm starting again. I bought 230 items last month and I really think to grow my business, I've got to buy more. I've got to get up to 300. So that means I've got to buy a heap more today, 1st of October to kick off the month. So you're going to come along for the ride. You're going to find the items that I find and hopefully you can go out and do the same thing, uh, source the items make the same sort of profit. That's why I do these videos. Uh, if you're into reselling, guys, hit the subscribe button right now because you're going to benefit from watching these videos in the future. Um, big one today, retail outlet shopping as well. I want to go and buy some Nikes, brand new, put them on eBay, make about a 25% profit margin. We'll see how we go with that. No guarantees. Uh, so we're going to get, yeah, this is jam-packed. I'm pumped to get into this one. Pumped to have you along for the ride. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and let's get moving. <laughs> Guys, it's not every day you come out double bagged, but we've had a great first stop of the day. Pumped to get in the car and show you what I picked up. Awesome first stop of the day, really pumped to get it. Oh, look, receipt here, it, it's not going to show up in the sunlight, but I've paid $106 for 14 items. Now, the first item that I wanted to kick off for you is the pair of footy boots. Now, I picked up these uh, Total 90s, the Nike Total 90s. I've got the metal studs. I have paid $40 for these. Now, you guys are probably thinking that's a massive cop, but it's not. I've sold pairs of footy boots recently for about $70, 80 $90. And these are brand new football boots. They're Nike Total 90s, so that's going to be a really good resale. Here's the comps here for you now. Look, I've paid 40 It's the most I've ever paid for a pair of shoes, to be honest. But I really do think being brand new, metal studs, Nike Total 90s, I'm going to try and sell these for about 120 bucks on eBay, and I reckon I'll get it. So we're still looking at about an $80 profit on the footy boots. Awesome school there. Hey, I bought a Star Wars cap. Now, it was only $5, multicolored, really like the color pattern. Um, five bucks for this one. I thought, look, why not? So many Star Wars fans out there. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. Um, but I picked up the cap. Always like to find a cap. Um, now, I found a band t-shirt, guys. This is a really cool band, A Day to Remember. Um, I picked this one up. Really cool design. Um, I think I paid about $7. There was a few specials going in that op shop, which is why I've bought so many items of clothing. Always ask in your op shops, what are the manager specials? Because you'll often pick up a really good deal. Now, that was seven. I think on the manager special, 25% off, I might've paid about 5 or $6. Whenever I see good band t-shirts in very good condition, I always try and pick them up because there are some super fans of these bands out there that will always pay for them. So, you know, five, six dollars, I'm gonna try and turn that into 20. Uh, so that was a good find. Awesome find in this one too, guys. If you do stumble across anything in the Jordan brand, which is a basketball make, Michael Jordan. MJ. Um, look to pick it up. Now, this is just a plain grey. It's got the front pocket, but it's also got the logo uh, down here as well. See that? The logo Jumpman. This is a very good quality make. Like the actual material, if you can feel it, it's 71% polyester, 24% rayon. And maybe it's the rayon that you know causes the, the nice feel in the material. I'm not too sure. But look, a plain grey, it's a bit of an essential, but it is Jordan brand. And if you guys can find the Jumpman, um, in really anything, Jumpman is the, the way to go. So i um, happy to get that one. That's going to be a good return. Now I found, I always look for jerseys and I found the Portugal Ronaldo. <laughs> Number seven, Portugal jersey. Now by no means is this the real deal. This is definitely a fake and a ripoff. But people just buy jerseys, and I bought this for about $4. It's a double XL, so it is quite big. 
but I reckon I'm going to get at least 20 bucks for that one because there's, again, super fans out there that just love Ronaldo, love their soccer. Um, the next one that I've got as well, this is a bit of a plain, um, I paid $6 for it. It says seven, but it was on a manager special rack. So I think I paid about six. Look, it's an Oakley um, golf polo. Now it's just very plain, but a really nice color pattern to it. I've picked it up because I've sold quite a few golf polos. Now I think that's a really good one to look for. Try and find your golf polos for about five bucks and then sell them on Facebook Marketplace to people locally for about 15. So you'll always make about 10 bucks on the golf polos. Um, look, I've got this much more to go through and there's a lot of um, free coffees in there. I bought a ton of shorts, the board shorts for five bucks each, which was an absolute steal. Um, I'd also found these jeans. Now, I've spoken about the brand before, but it is Thrills. Um, so there it is there. So Thrills is a really good brand to get your hands on. These are just a really nice pair of jeans. They are only $5 and I'm going to try and sell them for 20. Um, Thrills, it's a great brand. Definitely look out for it. Um, look, heap of shorts, board shorts. I speak about this brand quite a bit, guys. It is my favorite brand, uh, Rivka. So RVCA, that's just a really nice pair of shorts there. Really nice make, um, good material. Um, if you can find Rivka, it's just a quality make. So definitely look out for that. Um, but I might end it there on this little run because I've got so many other pairs of shorts. I won't go through each one with you. It's just been an awesome first stop. So I'm really pumped about it. We've spent 106 bucks. The footy boots for 40 was a large makeup of that cost. But 14 items for 100 bucks. We've really hit the ground running. First of October, we're getting things moving. So let's get on to the second stop. Stop number two. Here we go. $63 spent. I'm not sure how many items in this one. I've spent a bit more than my normal purchase limit, but I reckon that's because I'm going to make a bit more profit on these items. So let's get into it. Let me show you what I've got. Now, guys, that was arguably my favorite op shop of the day, let alone the last couple of months. I just love digging around this store. It just had a couple of absolute rippers. Now, I'm a massive AFL fan, for those of you who don't know, and uh, that's a local footy or a footy team here, the Brisbane Lions. Um, for those outside of Australia, the AFL, it's kind of like the NFL in America, just a little bit better. Um, so this is a Brisbane Lions. Now, this is the local team, and she's going to win the premiership this year, the Brizzy Lions. So happy to get this training T-shirt. Now, I did pay $15, but it is in almost as new condition. It is an extra large, so I actually might cop this one for myself and not even go and on sell it. But it is the current year's training tee. So with the Lions about to win the flag, this is just a perfect time to buy. I also found in the Brisbane Lions range, oh my goodness, I have found a Brisbane Lions, this is their, this is their jersey that they actually play in, but not only that, this one's still tagged. It cost me $15, but it is their Indigenous jersey. And which is a limited edition. They only do them like one game a year. They'll play an Indigenous round. And I've found their jersey in an op shop for $15. Now, brand new. These things go for about 120 bucks. This is in brand new condition with the tags. So you do the math. I'm going to make some money on this one. Extra large, happy days. Could even keep that one for myself, but I won't because there's too much money to be made. Um, what else have we got? Oh, look, I've got Daniel Hester. Now, Daniel Hester is a good brand to keep a lookout for. Um, my suits are Daniel Hester whenever I buy a suit, but... Yeah, one to look out for, $10, uh, $5, sorry. This is just a plain essential white polo, uh, but hopefully that one cops me $15. Um, now, found some Nordica board shorts. Keep an eye out for Nordica, really good brand Nordica. You want to be getting your hands on that whenever you can find it. Now, I found these for a grand total of $5. So, Nordica boardies, they are another free coffee. I'll flip these for about 10 to 15 bucks. Really nice pattern on that one. Kind of liked it when I saw it. And then I saw the brand name and I thought, well, hello. Um, so I grabbed that one. Oh, now this one, guys, this is a brand new uh, brand for me. I just saw it. I liked it. I did a comp search and it proved to be a winner. So I bought it. Now, first of all, I've paid eight bucks. So I've paid eight bucks for this. How good is that? That's just a cool design. I don't think it's vintage or anything, but 
the brand is um, Minute Mirth. So I'll put the comps up here for Minute Mirth, but this was just a ripper, hey? Like, really cool design. So you've got a mad back pattern to it as well. Look at that on the back. So I'm, I'm going to hope for about 35, 40 bucks on this one. This is in very good condition too, hardly worn. Um, so I thought that was a really cool find too. Um, so that's everything, guys. That was everything in that one. I've spent uh, $63 there. I spent 100 in the first op shop and about $34 in the other. That, so that's a collective total of $200 spent in the op shop today. And I reckon I've got about 25 items for $200. So, you know, we're playing at about $9 cost per average. So a little bit more than what I'd normally pay for, for items of clothing, which is predominantly what I've bought. But I think this has been a great result today. There's been a heap purchased. I've got a couple of minutes up my sleeve today to jump into one more op shop. I don't think I'm going to be able to spend too much time in there, but... This is turning out to be a very good day. $34 spent and I reckon seven items. So let's show you those seven items. All right, team, not a bad stop there. $34 spent, I reckon I've got about seven items here to show you. Um, so the first one was this Justice League set. I couldn't say no to that. That was only $8. Now that's gonna sell for a little bit more. I don't know exactly what, but I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks minimum. So look, there's 10 to $12. Justice League, it's gonna be popular. Somebody's gonna pinch that pretty quick. Um, I don't normally see these or buy these, but look, a blood pressure monitor with the wrist strap um, this this was comping really well. I checked the comps while I was in there. It's the only reason I bought it. I've paid a total of $6. And as you can see, the comps are going to make me about 30 bucks, I think. Um, I think this is a slightly older model from the looks of it compared to what the comps are. But I mean, when you have a look inside, the manual's in here. Um, it looks like a pretty good system. So blood pressure monitor, I reckon I'm going to go okay there. Uh, maybe 30 bucks. So that could be about $25 profit. We'll see how we go. It is boxed, which I always try and get. The, obviously, these were boxed. The, the monitor's boxed. I, I do look for that sort of thing. Now, I found a pair of Brooks running shoes as well, guys. These weren't in the greatest of Nick, but they're also not in the worst of Nick, to be honest. Um, they're okay. And I've paid a total cost of six dollars so six bucks for these not too bad i don't find the brooks all too often but i will say that brooks are a really good brand of running shoe so if you can find these in the shops uh, in the op shops definitely grab them if they're in okay nick not sure what the comps are but like anything with footwear i try to get about 30 bucks for them so i'm hoping they will come through with the goods i found these footy boots now by no means are they the nike total 90s that i found in the first stop shop today but these are a good brand asics as you know i'm a huge fan of the asics brand these are the ds lights so very much an entry level footy boot um the reason i bought them was because i've only paid a grand total of five bucks um so when you buy footy boots for five dollars no brainer i had to buy those they are a smaller size though so they're only a yeah they're only a us6 so i don't think that's going to be the best for me but i still think they'll make a few bucks now, brand watch, guys. I did a bit of comping in there. Now, I've never seen these shoes before in my life, nor have I ever seen this brand before, but the comps were amazing on these. Now, the brand is Naot, N-A-O-T. I'll put the brand symbol up there for you. I've paid $10 for these. There's the brand. $10 I've paid. Oh, look, they're just, they're not the greatest pair of shoes, to be honest. I, I wouldn't be uh, getting my mum or dad or anyone to put these things on. They're not the greatest, but maybe not my dad, maybe my mum, because they are women's shoes. But look, $10 for these. They come for about 40 bucks. I had to cop them. I wanted to show you a new brand that I'm finding that now you can go and find yourself. Um, the NOATs, the Naot, Naot Women's Clodhoppers. They're not the best, but anyway, they sell well. Hey, that's uh, that's everything. So how many we get? Maybe six items, five or six items. So thirty-four dollars spent, about six items, not too bad. Moving on, stop number three. Let's go. This is turning into a good day.
shop number four, guys, all wrapped up. Uh, wasn't the best op shop run for that one, uh, but, I mean, you don't win them all, do you? But I found three board shorts. Um, the one I want to notably show you guys out of the run was I bought a Quicksilver and a Billabong, but this one was the other one I got. So it was the brand was Palmer's. Um, so Palmer's is a pretty good surf brand, skate brand. Um, no different to the rest, like Billabong and Quicksilver. You'll, you'll buy them for five and sell them for 15, but um, it's just a new brand that uh, that is good to look out for and, and definitely buy when you do see them. So these are a good mate, cool color pattern. They're going to sell pretty easily as well, especially over here in Australia leading into the summertime. Um, I've got to get back home because that's it for my op shops today. I want to list up all my items on the computer, itemize them out to know how much I've exactly spent. Uh, and then I've also got a couple of Facebook Marketplace collects as well that are coming to the house. So got to get back for that. Um, and then like I always do, whenever I have a buying day, I spend the afternoon and the night listing every single item on both Facebook and eBay. It's the only way I do things. And that's my advice to you. When you get your item, when you source your item, please go home and list your item. There won't be any death piles and you'll feel a whole lot better for it just being listed. So that's my little tip of advice to end this episode. Now, I did mention at the start that we're going to do some retail arbitrage. Unfortunately, the day has just got away from me, so I won't be doing that in this video. But please let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do a whole dedicated episode on retail arbitrage. There's a really good outlet down the southern end of the coast that I can go to. Um, I can go into a Nike outlet and hopefully source some lowly priced uh, shoes and then sell them for a you know, 15 20% uh, profit on eBay. So I haven't done it yet. I want to do it. It might be a dedicated video. Let me know if you want to see it in the comments below and then I'll, uh, I'll see what we can do. But, um, thank you very much for tuning in guys. I'm going to wrap this one up there. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like if you haven't done so already. I do really appreciate you watching and, uh, I look forward to bringing some value in the next episode. Thanks guys.